Hi, this is Gleb Bakhmutov, and I want to talk about one particular problem that people hit when they try to use the new Psi intercept command. So I have this test that visits the to do MVC, and then when it intercepts post to post new to do, it will just spy on it, it will print it to the console. In order to trigger that interception, we're going to type a new to do and press enter. So this test already works. If I run it, I can see that we visited the local application, enter the new to do, and then we actually do see this intercept working. And if we go to the console, we can see post to do and the object that we received on the request way out. Great, so we have a body, and the body has a couple of fields. A common problem that people might hit is when they try to save that body as a file using say write file command, it will break. So let me demonstrate. So right here, after we bring it to the console, we can try writing this to the file. I uh, know, uh, say posted JSON, and we'll say JSON stringify request body, and we'll make it nice and beautiful. So when we save it, it runs again, and we get this long error message saying, a request callback passed to Santos after an error. We detected that you return a promise from a command while invoking one or more site commands that promised, and the command that you return was site type, and the command you invoked is our site write file. Okay, so what's going on, right? And this error happens again and again, so I cannot get rid of it. It's not a race condition, no. So what happens is that we are intercepting something application has done. And all of a sudden, we're trying to run a Cypress command. But Cypress commands are all in a chain running one by one. And when in the middle of this site type, we triggered an intercept because the application triggered, and it comes in and says, hey, I want to run this other Cypress command. Well, should it go before type or after type? Cypress cannot determine it, and it breaks deterministic tests. So you cannot do that. So what you can do instead is avoid using it immediately. So we care about saving the request body. So what we can do is when we receive this, I right, will say it saves it later. When we receive this body, we can save it in a local variable. We can say body equals request body. And then we'll save that body after it is set. And you can do it in multiple ways. My favorite way is probably to use wait. So we'll say this intercept will be under alias post. And so we'll wait for the post to happen. And once it finishes, then we'll write a file. Not gonna work just yet because, well, we can try this body, but it's not gonna work because this hasn't run yet. All these commands execute immediately. They get added to the queue. Well, when we execute write file, we add it to the queue, but we immediately try to use the body. Well, the body is undefined. So what we have to do is to make sure that this runs after we wait it, because by then the body is set. So we'll say then, and we'll just move our write file into that callback, All right? So our stuff is registered, then it will wait for the post request to finish, and then we'll evaluate the callback and we'll use write. By then, the body will be saved by the intercept. So let's check. Perfect. Already ran. Let's try this again. And if we open the DevTools and we click on write file, we can see that this is what it has written to that file. So this is what you do in order to avoid using Cypress commands inside the intercept.